is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. So we just completed our uh, little um, sword tutorial last time and now we are going to go and do our archery tutorial which we have tried a little bit on our own but obviously we haven't really performed all that well and we're gonna see how well we're gonna do on to uh, this one. There is though one thing that I want to try and I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. The game is saved. I mean it's saved at this point or whatever. I'm not gonna use the save your snap or whatever that thing is. Uh, and I just want to see what happens if I wear stolen uh, stolen things, you know, like... Uh, let's go with the jacket, for example. Light tart jacket. It should be, you know, dec decent enough, I guess. We'll uh, put thing, uh, this on and, you know, it, it should increase our, like, uh, whatever that skill is. That Not the one with talking and not the one with in intimidation, the one in between having like more luxurious clothes uh, will increase that so let us um, equip this does it say anything in the oh, it is a padded quilted oh wow wow it's actually good uh, defensively how about that didn't uh, expect that charisma or whatever there you go uh, I'm gonna see what happens and yeah now we're gonna do the proper archery tutorial we're gonna go with our bud over here and do it we have do have a lot of quests that i need to complete uh over here and they are they are starting to uh, pile up over here they are obviously the main ones get the sword back and avenge by finding that guy we can find nightingales in the woods we can visit the scribe to teach us how to read and write there is a treasure cove Back in Skullitz, uh, we have to pay the debt to Miller Peshek, uh, beating the guys, uh, you know, for extra money, and uh, also pickpocketing that guy, which I would love to try, but I don't know how yet. So, yeah, this guy is not moving very fast, so. Hello. Hmm. Doesn't seem to mind me. That I'm wearing uh, stolen stuff, so I um, guess I can just go on my own. I know where the archery field is, so I don't need him to escort me all the way there. Or anything like that. There is something, by the way, that I've just uh, realized, speaking of uh, playing this game, is that I wonder if there are spears in this game, and I wonder if you can um, get them and use them. That's something that I've been sort of like passionate in the past a uh, few uh, days myself. But in my country it's very hard to obtain such an exotic weapon. So it would be cool if I could at least obtain it in the game. Sorry, can't help. Let's just go... Oh, there is this guy over here already training, huh? Obviously, follow Bernard. We kind of sort of like went ahead of him, but fine. Because we did that, so undertake archery training. It shouldn't be too bad. We know a few basic stuff, both from real life and from our experiments in game. Let's see that. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there. We can start. And another thing. Put on this seems a bit guard. drunk. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Ah, you, right. Captain. Save the thanks. And get in position. I know about those things, now, yeah. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. Oh, we can you avoid board shooting by right clicking. Like but enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. I would like to not do that while that guy is over there. For a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. Arrow aiming at the Don't. target and flying at it. 
Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered okay. the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Oh, cool. Right, I remember because I went to archery in uh, real life with a bunch of friends, and uh, Where are you shooting? they definitely needed the arm guard because every time they would hit their arms when, with the bowstring. Uh, it was pretty funny because they would fire and then the bowstring would get lodged between the arm guard and their hands. It was even more hilarious that even, the, because, even while having the arm guard they would still get... Oh, fuck off. Oh right, that was a bullseye almost. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. Sorry. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. You on a fight, what mate? What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh! You've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Any time. Oh. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. <laughs> then let's get to it. So oh, cool. Oh wait, it's an archery competition? Fuck. Damn. Okay. Ah, uh, and we cannot delay. Oh, a bullseye. Alright. Wow, we're firing pretty good. The one who finishes first gets extra points. Uh, come on, come on. I'm gonna get it out of stamina. Whew, come on. Read. Get it. Mm. Alright, last one. Alright. Wasn't the best. But we did it. I think we finished. Hey, we did it. We actually well. beat him. Didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you doing, yeah, yeah. boy? <laughs> I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. So did we get your... Uh, did I get your bow or do I need to complete this extra one to get it? Fuck, do I, 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 I'm not sure if I remember everything I learned since last time. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh, fuck. We're fighting with real swords. Wow. My god. God, this guy is good. Uh. Topsy did it. Ah, fuck. You going to cry now? We shouldn't fight with real swords. Let's just say that. Fuck. Ah, you think? Ugh. 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 <laughs> that was a bad one. Shit. How was that? Oh, oh my god, it's getting pretty tense. Oh, right in the head. 
<sighs> oh my god. Well, you got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you alright, sir? <laughs> Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Good. Awesome. Turn him around F, giving you a chance to finish him off. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Didn't know about that. Funny enough, nobody said anything about uh, wearing our stolen jacket. Although it's pretty hard now. We really shouldn't have fought with a freaking uh, real sword. Look at this. Fuck, man. You know how expensive that is. You know how much I worked to nick it from someone else. Oh my god, alright. Well, yeah, it wasn't that bad. And we got his bow. I'm actually, and so th this is what we have. Villager Ash Bow. And now we got his, whoa, alright. It is actually better. Way better. Let me get that going. Yep, it's fine by me. So we'll sell the other bow. And uh, that'll be it. Oh, and we still have the arm braces. Do those actually do anything? I mean, except we know what they do like in real life, but... Take the combatant's forearms. Apart from protection melee combat, also come behind an archer to guard the archer's arm against the whip of the bowstring. Ah, I guess, yes, you can... They help in combat as well. Alright, fine. We'll keep them. We'll keep them. Okay, how was that? Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. Ah, hey, man, he wanted to... <laughs> He shouldn't have challenged me. Yeah. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzik's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rat House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Yes, sir. Will do, sir. Uh, can I wash myself? All right. Good enough. So yeah, we have um, the thing, we have uh, long distance arrows and they're no longer considered stolen. It's pretty good. have a bunch of quests that we can complete if we feel like it. Um, that was some pretty intense combat though, let me tell you that much. My guy is also not hungry yet, so it's good. In some ways, but in other ways, it's bad because all the food that I have is gonna go stale. Dragon meat is still good, but yeah, the salami, the pretzels. At least I ate the fruits already. Should probably go to some sort of trader to sell my shit. Nice. Nice to see that. My respects to you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, talk trade. Um, suppose you only accept right food. Is there any food that we want from him? Ooh, milk. It's pretty good. Smoked sausage. Uh, all this shit is so good. I'm drinking an alcoholism. Hmm. A book. Wait, we don't know how to read and write. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, uh, it's interesting to think about the fact that, hey, your character is actually dumber than you are. Wait, I'm trying to... Be... Okay, so we go... Right, I mean the forward and then right, and we should make it the um, hunter. And I'm sure he's gonna be glad to take the bow off our hands. And we'll see if we need to buy anything from him. And it's good that we sprint, it will increase our vitality for later. Good day to you. Yes. Um, train. No, not training. Uh. What do, what do we want antlers for? Trophy... mixed with potions? That's weird. Hmm. Better piercing arrow, brown hood...
a medieval precursor of travelers. There's a burgers and nobility alike. Huh, I think I'm actually might actually buy that. Hunter clothes. Basic hand protection. The joy of gutting. Wonderful. Hey, look at this, what we have. That's good. Wolf fangs. Okay, so we are going to sell. We don't need these technically either. And we are going to sell our... Oh, we have the tournament arrows. Uh, add to basket. <laughs> Wait, what's here? Oh yeah, the Kunesh hammer. We don't need that anymore. Want to sell him anything else? I don't think we do. And in exchange, we will grab the Ho uh, Jose. Hose? Is that how do you pronounce that? I want to know if it's better than what we have. Do we have anything? Uh, it's not. I guess we don't exactly have anything right now. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Add that to the basket. So right now we are actually um, paying money. Um. Oh, the wine is very not expensive. Sell a savior schnapps. The guy is not giving as much money as I'd have hoped, if you ask me. I guess it depends what you want to sell him, right? Um, let's sell him the cheese. We, uh, they're gonna go stale pretty soon. Eh, let's sell the poor quality arrows. Since we already have, we, we have like the long distance arrows and we have the tournament arrows. So, should be even better than what we need. Working boots, we have those equipped. Oh, uh, we still need to pay money, huh? Lockpick. Wait, we have 14 lockpicks? How the fuck did that happen? Here you go. You can have some. Um, right. That should be good enough. Check. Close the deal. Right. So we got rid of that. We have this equipped. Uh, we can equip our newly get gotten trousers. I guess we can equip this since they don't mind us wearing it. And what else? We have this, we have that. Uh, torch, tournament arrows. Oh yeah, I want to equip the long distance arrows. I think they are better. The tournament arrows will be just for... Wait, I, mean, I guess we can check them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are slightly weaker. Alright, good. So now we have to go to... Oh yeah, that guy. We uh, we already know where he is from the previous episode. Now, whether that's a good thing or not, it's debatable, but we know. I gave him the cheese, right? Alright, we can eat the pancakes. Just to make sure we are not... Going on an empty stomach pretzel. Alright, we ate pretty good and we are not piggy fatty yet. And we still have the dry meat and the salami. We'll probably need to nick some more food before we go like on a mission or anything like that. God, if only humans were as stupid as the AI in this game. Well, uh, to be fair, you also have the ability to save and reload the game. I guess that's a pretty it's a pretty big thing to have. Are we crouched right now? Knock off. We still I don't know how the hell are you supposed to I don't need to uh, okay. Uh, 
All right. There we go. Oh, the armor smith. Good day to you. Ah, we can repairs. Ah, oh, cool, cool, cool. We don't want to repair anything, but let's talk trade. Uh, ooh, oh my god, costing the thousands. Look at that. It plates still cunningly joined in such a manner to provide almost complete freedom of movement. Huh. Armor made of small steel plates, rated. Oh boy. Decorated. Spadded kilty jacket, right? Some protection comment can be combined with mail or plated armor. Aton Shore armor kit? What's this? Oh, repair kit. Oh, uh, you see. This is for the head. <laughs> right. A boucher shield. Use with short weapons. Hmm. So, shields, obviously. Decorated arming doublet. Um. Oh my God! I, I'm I I I I'm like drooling right now, and I'm seeing all of these things. Holy crap! They're so expensive. I need to steal them. I need to steal all of them. Um. Right. How can I get to the um? Oh, sorry. I want to get to the. Uh, the, um, that guy. There's some weird effects going on, dude. Are you drunk or something? The bailiff. There you go. The bailiff. And I'm not exactly sure. I mean, I got to him before, but I don't remember the way off the top of my head. I think it's over here, actually. Well, it used to be here. Oh, it's over here. Right. Change. God be with you. Um, I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. Wonderful. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Um... I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yep, I never even break a sweat. You're a bit high and mighty, aren't you? <laughs> well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Hmm. Cool. Oh, and he gave us money. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Good enough. Um... What I wanted to say is that pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory during the Nightingale patrol. Whoa, 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 okay, that's a little bit of a quest here. Um, right, so we have our um, our kit. Eleven and oh, and yeah, now now it's the time, so we will need to go there, pick up that. Hmm. I want to say, you know, he gave us a little bit of money, but that's not enough to buy whatever I've seen over there that we have available to buy. And uh, right, but it seems that we can um, get it some other way. And I know I'm in a private area, but 
maybe I can nick some extra stuff here. Lock picking very hard, huh? All of these things are closed, come on. Ah, it's annoying. Oh, just out of curiosity. This lock is too difficult. Oh, it doesn't even... Oh god, okay, wow, we cannot do that. I guess it makes sense. Huh. Such shit. Oh, this one is easy. Hey, we reached a new level in stealth. How about that? Bandages, dog skin, hides. Um, not we're gonna take them and uh, sell them later on. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Shit. Now there's a private area as well. God damn it! I keep pressing the wrong button all right closey closey and let's try this one Level in lockpicking. Oh, it's full of books and money. All right, and I think I am probably encumbered with all the books that I've gained. And here is the food. Right. Let's uh, grab that. Alright, I'm amazed that I can still move with all this stuff on me. Can I still move alright? Wow, it, Harry has some uh, carrying capacity, let me give you that much. Yeah, look at this, we have books. Uh, reading skill to study this book. Right, I have no freaking idea what I'm reading. We can sell them once we read them. That, that's the advantage of books, by the way. You know, you can read them, get the information out of them, and then you can sell them. And you get double value. Uh, not to mention that we nicked, like, fucking 200 of those things. Right, so. And food, so we are doing fine with food for now. Uh, let's see where that guy is... Yeah, these guys. Maybe we can beat that guy. Eh. It doesn't appear on this map. Mm, that's slightly inconvenient. I do think we are slightly encumbered. I feel like we are running a little bit slower and our stamina goes down a little bit faster, but it might be just my imagination. So let us just go and pick up our armor and then we'll just join the um, guard. Basically doing our duties. If I can get a spear then I will be more than happy. Ah, that's a halberd, I don't like that. Want the spear through and through. Is it over here? No, that's never mind. Hello? Is it over here? Ah, the armory. Very hard, very hard, very hard. 
where, 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 where exactly is my armor? Yes? Nope. <laughs> Um, is there someone supposed to come and give it to me, or am I supposed to nick it for myself? I, I can do both. In the lower room of the army, maybe it's lower room. Maybe it might be below me. Lower room of the armory. I have no freaking clue. Wherever the hell that is. Oh, chap. Don't mind me. I Ass. Fucking close the door in my face. Can you believe that? All of these things require lockpicking, so... We're definitely not in the right part here. Do you... You, you don't feel like talking. Okay, I, I understand. I have to uh, do things on my own. It's fine. You know, I'm, I'm used to that. I can... Wow, I can sleep there. Uh, is it here? Is it? No, I, you know what? I don't understand. I was told to pick up a kit here. Huh? Name? Henry. And? In fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola? <clears throat> hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home. Henry, if my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? Yeah. Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? <laughs> I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Right. Come on, Bassinek, and yeah, yeah, I am encumbered, right? Light padded armor. Hmm. Sure, it's not bad. A padded coif. What else do we have? Um, <laughs> we really shouldn't stolen all that. So much shit. Uh, fuck. I mean, I guess we already have a the what's it called the bludgeon. So yeah, we have three of them now. Right, and what else? Oh, and this. So, wait, I can equip both of these. Ah, yeah, right. Added coif and. Common basinic. Okay, I guess that's decent enough protection. Oh boy, yeah, I am fucking encumbered as hell. I can't run anymore. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well. It's fine. It's totally fine. Just need to, um. The hunters seem to be, uh, more than glad to buy shit off me, so I'll go and sell him all the extra things I have that are not considered stolen. I've read about this problem in uh, Skyrim and many other games, but, you know, never thought I'd get to see the day in which it would have hit me. I guess I saw it in, like, other sort of survival games, but fine. Um, let's talk trade. I need to sell shit. So, sell all of this. 
We don't. It doesn't matter if it's stolen or not when you, we use them, so that's fine. Sell this one. Um. Eh, we can't sell this yet. Suppose we'll sell. Um. Hmm. And the wine. Hmm. You know what? We'll sell this and um, keep it. Uh, keep the other one. And we're still encumbered, huh? Brown hose. Um. Hmm. 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 You know what? We can use the uh, stolen bludgeon, so you can sell this one as well. And I will just eat something to go below. Right. Let's uh, get the money. Let me go ahead. Equip this. Equip this. It's a little bit hard, but whatever. And... Eat a radish. Good, good, wonderful, alright, no longer encumbered. There is a quest giver over here. Let's mark him and get to him and then we'll go, we should still be in time uh, for that thing to join the watch or whatever. Captain Bernard, My respects to you. Want something for us? Can I ask? Um. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. All right. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? <laughs> we know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Good. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Damn. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Jesus. Okay, well, at least Damn. you know that. Sorry. What the hell? Yeah, just move out of the way, please. Thank you. Right, so we can go and deal with the bandits. Which are supposed to be... Uh... Wait, what? Um... Might here then the sword, find the nightingales, kill the camp leader right somewhere in the ruins. Uh, mark, uh, mark that, and let's join the patrol. We'll deal with the bandits probably later. Sounds like a good thing to do for some extra cash, but um, right now. Feel like we need to do a little bit more training. Speaking of which, I wanted to check out if there's anything that I can improve on stat-wise. Hmm. Seems not. Uh. 
Well, people don't really like us, except for the ones in Skalligs, but Skalligs is no more, just, just a bunch of refugees left. Oh well, what can you do? We'll try to do some quests and um, get their respect that way. Let's remember, by the way, that we cannot really um, buy or steal anything else because we are just at the limit of being overcumbered, so we will need to find a way to sell whatever we have before we can do anything else. Right, how do we uh, do this? Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that? Well, I've got nothing better to do. You'd look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. I'll get by like this. If you insist. But don't blame me if you get laughed at. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Yeah. <laughs> Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... <laughs> I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Um... I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. No, I'm good. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. Oh, so with caps lock we do a walk. The, corner, the priest too, our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> Courtship, huh? The mill wench before noon. I mean, I will try, but I don't know how to tell you, but right now we are this is our rat patrolling. Rat. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. Yeah, I'm already familiar. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. <laughs> Actually, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. Yeah, I might have already seen him. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty interesting. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check your I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? What's going on here? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Hmm. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Good question. Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Uh Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? 
Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Hmm. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and... and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Well, yeah, that got solved peacefully at least. <laughs> do we have to do this all day? Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And yeah. now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sahans Capon. Sahans' mm. father, old Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sahanush is managing the fiefdom until Sahans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great great grandfather or some such. The time's coming <laughs> soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Uh, I'm quite familiar with the way things are handled in the Middle Ages. Thanks for reminding me about, you know, inheritance and blood relations and other things like that. Drop something? Or... It's so weird how sometimes it stops. I guess it you know, tries to pathfind or something. I'm actually curious to um, on how the um, this AI is here, built. It looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Yeah. Seems that we are walking, but I'm sort of like either walking at a slower pace or he's walking at a faster pace. Can't seem to keep up. She's making it even more annoying because if I if I go, I've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Go for a regular walk. Daughter. I'm faster. On a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Hmm. Yeah. That's not Look a problem. Here. See that filthy beggar. By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Oh, come on. What's wrong with him? Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Uh, stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If a Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. What's the problem, all right? All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one area uh, really? on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Sorry, I'm not familiar on how beggar distribution should be around the city but if they go, can go to the church then I'm fine by that I'm moving I'm moving hmm 
Uh, you know what, I think since there's nothing too eventful happening that we'll just end this episode over here. We've done quite a lot this episode to be honest, you know, we did the archery training, we beat that son of a lord up to a pulp, um, we picked up some stuff and we joined the Nighting Watch, or it's not, it's not Night Watch, right? I'm thinking to about Game of Thrones again. Uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you next time with what I'm going to make. Bye-bye.